life working as a professional witch here in New Orleans. So if that sounds good to you, please be sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Today we are taking a deep dive into the energy of incubus and succubus spirits and how you can know if you have this type of spirits around you, in your energy, in your space, or through various means. This is a question that a lot of people contact me for help with in my spiritual coaching that I offer, or I also have people contact me because uh, someone else may have conjured a succubus spirit for them and they're not experiencing anything and they need help. There's all kinds of situations that have been coming up recently. So I decided let's go ahead and make this video. So as most of you probably know, the succubus spirits are one of my personal specialties. I have developed a unique special formula for how I conjure these spirits, working with a lot of extremely powerful demons and my experience in ceremonial magic for over 17 years. So it's something that I'm very confident in and it is something that I am happy to give you some advice on. Now, when I first started working with the incubus and succubus spirits, it happened by chance, but by accident really. And it wasn't something that I had intentionally sought out to do. I was working with a few different spirits and those situations turned into romantic situations between me and those spirits. And so that of course is one of the signs that you might first notice where a spirit doesn't necessarily have to be labeled an incubus or succubus spirit. Spirits can fall in love with you and have intimate times with you. So that's a huge aspect of it. And then that falls under this category of, am I experiencing love from the spirit? Is the spirit trying to have a romantic relationship with me? Is the spirit coming into my intimate situations with other people and participating along with us, for example? So all of those things can happen. Now, a lot of people will just start having the phenomenon of attracting these spirits to them. And like I mentioned in other videos, there are so many different kinds of incubus and succubus spirits. So you really need to figure out what that spirit is to know how to handle them. And if you want to go further with the spirit or if it's something that could be potentially dangerous to you, you've really got to know the full tea of, of what's going on in that situation. And that's something that you can figure out by developing your abilities in psychic communication with spirits, in your abilities of spirit conjuring. You could even contact other spirits that you work with to ask them for advice, for example. So typically the signs that are gonna happen if you have incubus or succubus spirits around you, there's a couple of really key points here. So the first one is your energy is going to be very, very strong. So people will probably enjoy talking to you. They will want to communicate to you. You will have people on the street come up and try to talk to you. You will be trying to mind your own business and someone will come over and start trying to hit you up. You're very alluring to people just out in general public when you're not trying to because these spirits increase that energy around us. It also has results, for example, like you'll have an increased libido. They will try to help you to get into situations where that kind of energy is raised as much as possible because they feed off of it. And when you work with them, it becomes an empowering thing where they enjoy your energy and then they give it back to you and it makes you even more powerful. And it heightens your skills in so many different ways, but especially in the bedroom. So another thing that is one of the most noticeable things is that your intimate situations are going to be much, much stronger than ordinary intimacy. When people have the succubus or incubus spirits around them, 
it might even make other people addicted to, to wanting to, to sleep with you or make people want to come back when in your mind you're like, well, that wasn't what I really wanted, but they're, they're so, they're so, so enamored by you and your energy that you become extremely sought after or, or fought over by other people or people go out of their way to try to, try to obtain you, to be with you, to have contact with you in many ways. The spirits do this because it's increasing the energy that's coming to you when other people pay attention to you, when other people are attracted to you. It increases that energy and then the succubus or incubus spirits can feed off of that. Now, these things are not necessarily bad. Sometimes it can be really, really awesome and great. It just depends on if you're aware of this, if you're able to establish your boundaries with other people, and also if you're able to establish your boundaries with the spirits, because like the last thing you want is to have your libido getting kicked off in a time when you don't want that. Um, and so having more control and more autonomy over yourself spiritually, the more you learn about magic and working with spirits and spirit communication, you can communicate to those spirits and be like, Hey, I'm in school now, or I'm driving. Like, I don't want to have, um, these feelings right now. And, and like, uh, what I mean by, by feelings is it can actually be physical sensations that you feel of, of spirits touching you. But usually the main sign is people are going to be really into wanting to sleep with you, especially if they already have, or if they've had some kind of encounter with you of any kind of intimacy, they're going to crave that and want that more. So that's a really big sign of what it's like to have the incubus and succubus energy around you. It can also be having a protector, like sensing something supernatural is, is watching over you and protecting you and really, really loves you. And these spirits, when well aspected, are very helpful and beneficial to your relationships. If you have a partner that you're in love with, if you're with a helpful incubus or succubus spirit, they're going to love that and they're going to feed off of that and make everything even more powerful and stronger. So these spirits have a lot of really amazing side effects from working with them. And I definitely suggest looking into it more. There's a whole playlist about this type of stuff on my channel. And if you do need help from me, be it if you would like to hire me to do the conjuring ritual for you, or if you need help with incubus or succubus spirits in your life under whatever circumstance, feel free to check out the mentorship and consultations and ritual services that I list on my website that are in the description of this video. I would also highly suggest my tarot course for anyone who wants to further develop their psychic abilities in communicating with their spirit companions. There's even a whole part of a course that focuses on this. So that's also there for you on my website to check out. Please go ahead and look it up in the description of this video if you'd like to go further with any of those things. And thank you so much as well to all of my patrons and thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.